Hi everybody, Diane here with another project. These may look familiar. Can you see? Ah, uh, yes, they're more matchboxes. I made a bunch. I really enjoy making those Christmas ones, and I think they're so cute when they're done. I have no designs on what I'm going to do with these when they're done. I'm just making them because they're fun. So my idea though was to make little mini fabric clusters and decorate them. That's why they're mostly kind of a neutral. Um, after I made these, I just wanted to make something more colorful just because I wanted to. So I don't know what I'm going to do with those. So I'm up to making the little clusters to go on these. Um, if you didn't see that Christmas matchbox video, it's just a template I found online. It's just scrapbook paper. I do cut an insert, if you will, and put in the bottoms. Um, for two reasons really like this one I did really like the contrasting paper and that's what was showing that's what will show on your on your bottoms I'm I'm, I'm being funny but anyway uh, but it does give it a lot more stability to put in another paper so I went ahead and did that some of them though you'll say well no it's the same no it's not the same I cut another paper and put it on there okay so little tiny clusters and these are I have bigger scraps and I've got little tiny scraps so we're set with the scraps I also have healed button tin because I think I'll add a button then to the top of the cluster just like that it's kind of cute Okay. Get in there. Um, one, I don't know if I call it a problem, but I have, uh, you know, similar fabrics, so I don't know. Does that matter? Does anybody care if we're, you know, using the same? I don't really have a lot of fabric. I have one, one of those bins that are I don't know what those are you know like 12 inches tall and that's fabric not kind of Christmas and then these are the leftovers from that so it's really it's not a lot actually maybe this would be better And I'm also making these because I'm still sort of on the fence about what I'm doing. Um, you know, I don't know. With Etsy and my life in general, I don't know. <laughs> so, this is the, we're going to work on this because we don't know what we're doing project. Ribbon stuff too, scraps. I sort of thought of adding like a postage stamp. Like, okay, this would look not so great, but an, you know, a vintage postage stamp or something. But no, I I didn't think it kind of went with the clusterness. Maybe on something bigger, that might be okay. No, that's too glitzy. Think about this. I don't know. I'm still not that great at this cluster stuff. It it goes against my <laughs> being. I have to have things lined up, as you know, and then to stack them, to get them as a cluster. I 
I'm going to just put a big button on it so you can't see this one. Um, oh, but I like that color. Isn't this one cool? I, this is very old. And I was going to put it on something once upon a time, and it kept falling out or coming off. There's like a crack in there somewhere, and it won't stay. So I don't know what I'll ever do with that. What a big one look like. It would look like a big button. Well, that's kind of neat. Okay. And this is a, you know, wood type paper, which I more picked because of the neutral quality. But, you know, if you had this sitting out somewhere at a glance, it might look like real wood. That could be kind of neat. Fool your friends. <laughs> Dang, you're so funny. And all those old comic books I used to see, you know. Fool your friends. Trick your friends. I don't know, is that nice? It's kind of neat. You know, lace would be good, wouldn't it? Somebody should have thought of that. I have a little bit of a lace fabric here that I've never, <laughs> I've never even opened it yet. You know, would this be a good time to do that? I didn't think to get out my trim box or that because I was just using scrap fabric. I didn't think about trim. Come on. There. Maybe that's it's, can you tell it's got like a sheen to it? Well, let's just cut some and see. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Okay, button. You know, I crossed my mind too uh, to use a snap maybe, but mm, buttons were handier. Okay. Now we need something a little bigger for the background or the bottom. I don't know. Is that considered a background? I don't know. Is this the right side? Yeah. So, is anybody out there assessing what they're going to do in the new year and all that as far as, well, I guess anything, but your crafts, your art? I hope you get further with it than I have. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, my problem, uh, yeah, among other things, but is, you know, so I'm making, I don't know, 10, is it, I think, matchbooks boxes here just to make. I don't have any purpose for them. Well, okay, what are you going to do with them when they're done? You know, I have to store them or give them to somebody. I... So I'm kind of at a point of, do you keep making this stuff for no real reason? I mean, well, there's a reason because you enjoy doing it, but I, you know, I can't keep just stuffing stuff in shoe boxes forever. So I don't know. That's sort of my dilemma. And you know, you think, well, I'll sell it on Etsy. That's a good idea. Yeah, it is, until that sits there for four months and nobody bought it. So then what do you do? Do you relist it? Do you, 
you know, give up on that too. Now you still have to store it somewhere or get rid of it. I don't know. If anybody um, has a big solution to that, let me know. Whoops. Oh, one fell on the floor. Oh, no. <laughs> Assuming that was a coat button. I don't know. Look at this one. Bathrobe, maybe. The green one. We should keep that out. I'm trying not to root down in here too much because it's so noisy. Um, that's okay. I don't know that I like it that much. I'm trying to find like a yellow color, gold. You know, in all this stuff, you think you could find a button you like. Is that too light? Yeah. Look at this one. Isn't this weird? The dimension on that, the thickness. I don't remember where that one came from. A lot of these are inherited. One more thing, one more handful, then we'll give up on this one. Um, no. About this one. No. All right, this one can wait with a button. Okay. Well, here's a piece. Here's a piece. And I know if anyone's saying, well, give them his gifts and stuff. I do. But, you know, you start running out of recipients at, <laughs> at some point, you know. Or your recipients going, oh, good, another matchbox. No, I don't like that with that. I think I'm getting off color for the color of the box. Actually, off color, that didn't sound too nice. But you know what I mean? I didn't mean the literal meaning of off color. Like an off color remark. Oh, there's a piece of that right there. Well, okay, now there's two. Something else. About a strip of this. I had a little remnant of this, I think from a thrift store, and this is about all I have left. And I, you can laugh. But I hate to use it because I like it and I don't have other maroon type colors at my disposal. That's kind of cute. Okay. Actually, this is going a little faster than I thought it would. And I haven't decided, am I going to decorate the interiors of these? I don't know. I very often do. Oh, my oven timer. Don't listen to that. Here, I'll pause just a minute. Okay, I'm sorry. It was not my fault. I'm not using the oven. <laughs> 
Oh, that's blue. I thought it was black. Kind of lard. Oh, what about this one? It's pretty good. Um, it also crossed my mind. Reach up here. Once upon a time, I did make a box, and I just... It was uh, vintage style paper, and I just used a bigger button and put cheesecloth under it. That was kind of cool. And that one I kept, and I display it. Except at the moment, it's packed away because I Christmas stuff out. But I could do that somewhere, too. Because it kind of adds a little different texture. That's not bad. What about on this one? Oh, some pieces. That would be cute with a button. Uh, okay. All right, I'll use that one. Okay, these two. Um, you can, you know, you can do whatever you want. You don't have to clear it with me. But using a small scale paper design does work out nice on these, I think. Until you want to find fabric to put on them. No. <laughs> I'm kidding. Are you ever serious, Diane? Um, I guess. Well, I'm making a mess. Do I get credit for that? That's what we're here for. I have a dog whining too. You gonna add to the uh, oven timer, Avian? It's kind of pretty. Where does this button go this way? That's not really bad. I thought that would be too dark. What do you think? No. Do you like ever use like some of these buttons? <laughs> Probably not. That's a very old robe. I know that. I got several of those. It was a uh, turquoise chenille. I remember that. It wasn't mine. It was my mother's. Okay, I like that. Better. What about a little cheesecloth under there? You know, these boxes which I suppose is with most crafts anyway, but anyway, it's just totally endless what you could do with these. You could make them a certain theme for holidays or birthdays. You know, it just, it goes on and on, you know, sophisticated, funky, funny. You could put a quote in there. Um, I showed in the Christmas one, an old matchbox I had made. I made a little mini book that fit in there out of the same paper. It's a, it's pretty fun. And then once you get started, it's a little <laughs> hard to stop. Stop her. She's making more matchboxes. I 
And I suppose at least they're not too big if you have to just put them in a box, right, and store them. I probably will sew the clusters together, um, like one spot where they all meet, and then I'll glue if there's like a big, you know, gapping thing. That's what you call it, too. A gapping thing. Mm, that's the wrong color. Diane, you're being way too picky for a little cluster thing. I know, it's my hobby. All right, what should I do for those other two that aren't the, you know, plain style? And I thought this one, I probably should decorate. So that's just plain yellow. And I had some more of this paper left. I could cut out the motifs. But, you know, you could, like, if this was for her birthday, you know, you could write, Happy birthday, you know, on the person's name. Put, you know, you put confetti in there or something and let it fall all over on the floor when they open it. <laughs> Diane, the way your mind works. I've never done that. I'm not evil like that. Well, that's kind of cool. Okay. These two... I don't know. Or if you took high school German, you could say Gewechnicht. I'm going to take a break. I don't know what I want to do with these. I could do a cluster. But, you know, they have more going on, so I don't necessarily have to conceal. I could just do some trim type stuff. I don't know. I'll think about these. I'll do the clusters. These boxes could be done when you, when you come back or when I come back. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. The cluster ones are adhered and all that. The two that were different, um, I was going to do with you, but I just started going, well, maybe a flower or maybe a bird. And, you know, before I knew it, it was sort of done. So I think that's pretty cute. I put a feather in there off the same paper. I like that. This one is not done. But when I was putting the fabric away, I came across this and I thought, oh, that matches pretty nicely. So I think I'm going to put that in there. And then in my ribbon leftover baggie, this just happened to be visible. So I'm going to run a strip of that. And the front, I still don't know. I had thought about yeah, you know, maybe just like a ribbon like that or something. But this caught my eye too, is on top here. It's just a piece of leftover embroidery floss. I could just wrap, make a bow or not. That's kind of cute. All right, I think I'll do that. I'll do that off camera. Now these, I don't have to do anything with the drawer bottoms, but I don't know. I thought I'm here. Why not? Um, just a strip of washi tape crossed my mind. And since this one has a lot of black on it, yeah, that would be cute. Okay, you know what? I'll do that off camera. You don't have to watch me play with trying to get it fit in there. That's a little boring. Oh, that might be comical if I don't get it right. It's entirely possible. Um, it's kind of cute. I don't think I like it with that, though. What about this one? Yeah. Okay. 
I thought of washi stamps. I have like um, these. But I don't think they're going to show up so well. That's just my thought. I didn't try one. Well, what about this? Okay. Airmail, anyone? Okay, um, I don't know what airmail has to do with it, but I like the colors, so that's good. No. I could do ribbon. Like, that's an awfully busy background. I don't know if tapes I have are going to show up. Hmm. Not seeing one for this. This might have to get a ribbon. Yeah, I think these two will get ribbons. Okay, you guys can wait. Maybe that one too. No, it's not going to show up. Um, wait a minute. One second. Or four. This one, yeah. I do have brighter tapes that probably wouldn't match, but it's kind of cute. Can you see that? It's cat. Okay, that can go in there. What about this one? Let's see. No. Okay. There's nothing for these, is there? Oh, I'm not a Valentine one. <laughs> that did cross my mind. I just bought this paper. It's sitting right here. Wouldn't that be cute to make Valentine boxes and put those on there? I might do that, but I don't know. I might not film it. Getting a little repetitious with the boxes. Well, that's okay. All right, that. Yeah, I think the other one's going to have to get a ribbon. Anything in here? That would be nice if I didn't have to go get my ribbon box. We're going to have to go get the ribbon box. Oh, get in there. Well, that wouldn't work, would it? It flipped out. It's too short. Okay, fine. Well, you know what? You can just go back in your little drawer. Okay. All right, this one. Well, what about the dots? That's okay. It's not terribly exciting. Well, I think that's it. Okay. I'll pause one more time. I'm going to finish off these insides in this one. And then we'll come back and have a look-see. Okay, crew. I'm back. They're done. One snowstorm later, we had some snow while I was off. It's first of the season. So here's the two odd ones. This is the same. I didn't. don't think I did anything different to it. Um... This one is kind of plain, I admit it. You could dress it up with a couple sequins, a bird or something, a word, you know, happy birthday or something. But for me, for now, it's just a little box. One little note, fabric and ribbon are a tad trickier to get down in that drawer. 
because they sort of have give a little stretch. It's a little trickier to get them straighter than the washi tape, but it's doable. Rubber stamp there. It's a postmark. I think they're cute. I think the cluster on top stuff worked out cute. I've never done that before. So yeah, the possibilities with decorating these is really pretty endless. By the way, on a couple of them, I went up the sides with the washi, mainly for ease. I think it looks good too, but it was a lot easier to do that and trim it off than to get it to fit in there exactly right. It's cute. All right, well, more projects that Diane's going to put in a box and store it somewhere in her house. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do next. I don't know. Make more matchboxes? Maybe. If I do, I probably won't film it. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a very nice day.